This is uh, one of the easier binary tree problems where we have to find the sum of all the left leaves. So how we should approach this problem? So uh, a simpler version of this would be that find the sum of all the leaves in the binary tree. In that case what you would do? You would start traversal. You can pick any of the traversals of the trees and you have to check whether the current node is leaf or not. And what is the way to check that? Its left and right child should be null. For example for 2 there is no left child, no right child, so it's a leaf. Similarly for 4, similarly for 6. So in that problem you would simply uh, add the value of the node to the sum that you have been maintaining. So that was simpler version. Here there is a slight modification to that, that it should not be just a leaf, it should be a left leaf. For example in this we have 3 leaves, but 2 is the only left leaf. Left leaf means it should be the left child of its parent. 4 is also leaf, but it's uh, the right child of its parent. Similarly, 6 is the uh, right child of its parent. Let's say we had something like this here. And let's say it was 10. Then 2 and 10 both would have been left child. So what change you need to make in your earlier approach? So uh, when you are traversing, definitely you start from the root since you are given the root pointer only of the tree. So when you call the traversal on left child, you pass an additional flag true to indicate that it's the left child of its parent. So this will be called for 3. For 6, you will pass false. So 6 will know that I am the right child of my parent. So that if I am leaf, I will not add the value. And when 6 calls recursively for its left child, it will again pass true for left and false for right and this will be done by everything. So 3 will pass true here and false here. And every time we are checking whether we have we are leaf or not. Now 2 will find that I am a leaf. Then it will check am I a left child of my parent? Yes. So it adds the value of 2 to the sum that we are maintaining. Then ultimately when we reach 4 it will check that I am a leaf. Yes. But it will check, am I left child of my parent? So it will see that, no, I am not. Because I had got a value of false from my parent. So it will not add its value. Next, 5 is not leaf, 6 is not leaf, but 10 is leaf. So it will check whether I am left child or not. And it will find that true. So it will add 10 to it. So total it will be 12. So writing the code should be very simple. So we should have some sum of leaves left leaves in fact or let's call SLL in sort and we pass a root and a flag a boolean flag false so this calls SLL 5 false then if is leaf and what will be the check? It will be very simple. Uh, node dot left is null. Node dot right is null. So if leaf and this parameter. So let's call it node n and this is left. So is leaf this node and is left. Then sum plus equal to n dot value and we return from here. If this is not leaf, so if n dot left is there, then recursively call SLL n dot left and pass true. And if n dot right is there, then call SLL n dot right, but pass false. So that's all. It's a very small code. So if you are familiar with tree traversal, then you should write this code very easily. Now let's write it in C++ and Java. So it should be very simple what we saw. So there is a base case which we had not talked here. So if root is empty, root is null, that is tree is empty, then return 0. Else we will have a variable for sum. Initialize to 0 and let's call our function sum of left leaves. We can have the same num name but uh, it will have different parameters 
and different return types. So we are passing this extra flag bool is left. And here what it should be first check the leaf and uh, checking leaf is required only when it's a left child. If it's a right child, no need to check the leaf. If is left and not so it satisfies the condition. So sum plus equal to root val and return. Else continue the traversal. For left we will pass true and for right we will pass false. So if there is just one node, let's say just one node that is root. So we will consider that not a left leaf. If there is a just one node in the tree, that is a leaf, but we will not consider that. We will pass zero in that case. So that's why we are passing false for the root, main root of the tree. And the value matches. So let's try a few more test cases. Let's say we have empty, then it should return zero. Let's say we have one node, then we have two, then left is null, right is three. So this is 24, this should return zero, this should return zero, this should return zero. And it's correct. So let's submit. and the solution is accepted. So what is the time complexity here? Just we are doing one traversal, so it's O of n. n is the number of nodes in the tree. Now let's uh, write the same thing in Java and Python. If root is null return zero, otherwise we will call this traversal. This is basically traversing the tree. And the Java solution is also accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python 3. And now 
in the main function we will check if root is none return zero else and the python solution is also accepted